The PC and Amiga were home to the first fully graphical adventure game based on Lord of the Rings. Duly entitled Lord of the Rings Volume 1, it was released by Interplay in 1990. The game was similar to the early Zelda and Final Fantasy releases in many respects. The action was viewed from overhead and the gameplay revolved around slaying enemies while solving tricky puzzles. If you were stumped, you could always gain clues by engaging the local inhabitants in conversation. You started out controlling just a single character, but as you progressed you were able to enlist the services of various dwarves, elves and humans. With a party of up to 10 in tow, you could stage some spectacular battles later on. Lord of the Rings Volume 1 was an entertaining game which had aged far better than the earlier text adventures. However, like the Melbourne House games, the plot was not too linear, meaning that the player was not forced to complete tasks in a strict order, while some tasks could even be avoided completely. Interplay followed up the game with an enhanced CD version, a SNES version and a very similar PC-only sequel titled Lord of the Rings Volume 2 – The Two Towers. These games shifted the emphasis from combat to puzzle solving. The SNES version was interesting because while it shared the same name as the PC and Amiga version, it was a completely different game. It supported up to 5 players for a start and there were loads of silly errands to run and mind-boggling mazes to explore. You could interact with non-playable characters and level up the members of the Fellowship. So this was very much a light RPG. The game ended abruptly too and the proposed SNES sequel never appeared. The same fate befell the final part of the PC trilogy. Work was well underway on Volume 3 when it was unceremoniously pulled. The third game was to be more of a strategy game than an RPG and it was very nearly released as part of Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Forgotten Realms series before it was canned altogether. That's it for today. If you enjoy this content then please like, subscribe and press the bell notification icon and as always, stay tuned.